she gave birth to Alexander the Great and claimed he was the son of the gods, she paved her way to reign even if she had to kill for it. With red hair and a charming beauty, thirsty for blood. What is the story of Olympias, the woman who sleeps with snakes, and how was she stoned to death and her body not buried? Historico's channel present Olympias the mother of Alexander, subscribe and hit the like and stay tuned for the next episodes. Red-haired, charming beauty, and fiery temperament, thirsty for blood, this is how some historians describe Olympias, the mother of Alexander the Great, who had an important role in raising her son to be one of the greatest conquerors in history, paving his way to rule even if she had to kill for it, and glorifying him in the eyes of his followers and enemies alike by claiming that he was the son of Zeus the Great God. She belongs to the city of Emesa, which is now the Syrian city of Homs, the daughter of King Neo Ptolemy and wife of Philip II of Macedon, she was one of the most beautiful women in the entire empire and was her husband's favorite. She had light blue eyes, smooth hair, smooth pure white skin, and a wonderfully drawn body. She was smart, cunning, and brave. She had a military spirit and she gave it to her son Alexander the Great. Philip of Macedon commissioned her to train his son Alexander in combat and horsemanship while he was occupied with matters of government, so what is the story of this woman who slept with snakes, and did not hesitate to spread their venom in the chest of her enemies? She belonged to a pagan religious sect that worshipped snakes, and approached the god Dionysus, the ancient Greek god of wine, with offerings. Several historians have mentioned that Olympias was not afraid of snakes, but rather she slept with them in the same bed and played with them. Historians say that the original name of Olympias was Myrtle, but King Philip called her Olympias after he won the horse race at the Olympic Games, after his marriage to her. When her father died in 360 BC, her uncle Arempas took the throne, and in order to consolidate his relationship with his Macedonian neighbors he arranged a diplomatic marriage between his niece Olympias and Philip II of Macedonia, thus making a strong alliance with the Macedonians. Olympias was not Philip's first wife, but they said to have been the fourth, and that he had a son from one of his former wives. However, Olympias did not aspire to be the wife of the king only but also wanted to give birth to an heir to the throne whose authority could not be disputed, so some historians mention that she poisoned Philip's only son. And although he did not die, the poison went into his mind and he became unable to he assumed the throne after his father. It is said that Philip II fell in love with Olympias, despite the political nature of their marriage, because of Olympias' great beauty, wisdom, and cunning, which enabled him to prepare for his son, heir of the king's throne. The ancient Greeks believed that the birth of any great man must be accompanied by prophecy or signs of his coming. The night before Olympias married the king, she dreamed that a lightning bolt descended on her womb and kindled a great fire that was soon extinguished and its fire was completely scattered. After marriage, Philip II dreamed that he would put a seal on which the face of a lion was engraved on his wife's womb. The interpreters interpreted this dream as saying that the queen would give birth to a son who, by nature, resembles the courage of the lion. A year after Philip married Olympias, they had a child, whom they named Alexander, who later became known as Alexander the Great of the greatest generals of all time. After Olympias gave birth to her son Alexander, she had a daughter, whom she named Cleopatra, and according to historians, 
Her marriage to the king at this time was stormy and turbulent, King Philip II's mood swings and Olympias's ambition and jealousy over her husband created many problems that threatened their relationship, matters became more turbulent between the spouses. When King Philip married a second time to a Macedonian noblewoman and Philip gave her the title of Eurydice. Disagreements aggravated between Olympias and her husband, especially since some of the new wife's relatives began whispering in the king's ear that he should produce a legitimate heir from Eurydice, because his son Alexander is not a pure Macedonian, because his mother is from Eberus. Alexander was at that time in his early youth, and he argued one day with his father because of his belief in his right to the throne, so King Philip became angry with him and then his mother Olympias decided to take him to her country, Eberus, for a while until his father calmed down. Philip did not want relations between him and the kingdom of Eberus to be strained by the departure of his wife Olympias with her son there, so the king married his daughter Cleopatra to her uncle Alexander I as a token of understanding and friendship between the two kingdoms, which angered Olympias and increased her anger against Philip. In 336 BC, during Cleopatra's wedding to her uncle, Philip's bodyguard killed him, and Olympias was suspected of masterminding the assassination. Some historians say Olympias also executed Philip Eurydice's wife and son when he returned to Macedonia after the king's death, to ensure there would be no rival for his son Alexander in power, as his main objective was to crown his son as king. Some historians claim Olympias burned Eurydice to death, while others say she forced Eurydice to hang herself. Olympias was very keen to teach her son Alexander all the martial arts and sent him to study at the hands of the famous philosopher and scientist Aristotle. She constantly told him about his noble lineage and his relationship with Achilles, and that he should be a legendary hero like him. Olympias' influence was evident in the character of her son, who is said to have inherited not only her love of science, but also her savagery, strong personality, and bloodlust. And when Alexander the Great ascended the Macedonian throne, he began to expand his kingdom and became famous for his conquests until he was later known as one of the most famous military leaders and conquerors of the history. By his 30th year, he had established one of the largest and most powerful empires known to the ancient world, stretching from the coast of the Ionian Sea in the west, to the Himalayas in the east, some historians have said that Olympias spread a legend that Alexander the Great was not the son of King Philip II, but rather the son of Zeus, the chief of the Greek gods, and worked to deify her son and consolidate the idea that he was born to be the great of all time. Although Alexander's relationship with his mother was cordial, he did not prefer her to interfere in politics. Nevertheless, Olympias had great influence in Macedonia during the periods when her son was absent and preoccupied with his conquests. Great differences arose between her and Antipater, the ruler who was appointed by Alexander over Macedonia during his absence, as she interfered with his decisions and actions. When Alexander the Great died in his prime in Babylon in 323 BC, his wife, Roxana, had given him a son, Alexander IV, and one of the military generals was the guardian of Alexander's son, the ruler of Macedonia, Antipater, decided to get close to this general by marrying his daughter, but Olympias offered the general to marry her or his daughter Cleopatra, whose husband had died some time ago, so the general chose to marry Cleopatra. This decision angered the ruler of Macedonia, and a fierce war began for power between the generals and rulers and Olympias, who believed that it was her duty to defend her grandson's right to rule as she defended the right of his father, however, son of Antipater, ruler of Macedonia, 
was able to gain control of Macedonia and force Olympias and the generals loyal to her to flee to Eberus with Alexander IV, son of Alexander the Great. But Olympias did not surrender and fought bloody wars with her allies in order to restore her grandson to power, and was able to march towards Macedonia at the head of her army, defeating the army of Cassander's brother, where she executed him and all his supporters. Cassander, ruler of Macedonia, became enraged after learning what Olympias had done to his brother and his allies, so he went to her at the head of an army and besieged her with her supporters in the fortress of Pedena. After the siege was prolonged, Olympias' army decided to surrender on the condition that Cassander pledged to keep Olympias alive, and Cassander agreed to that. However, after entering the castle, he decided to execute Olympias, the wife of Alexander the Great, and his young son. When Cassander ordered Olympias to be killed, the soldiers refused to harm her, as she was the mother of Alexander the Great in the end, but her end was stoning to death by the families of her many victims whom she had killed in order to preserve her grandson's throne. Historians said that Cassander, the ruler of Macedonia, forbade the burial of her body after her death, and this how Olympias died, after fighting bloody battles, without seeing her grandson, on the throne, on which his father sat. 